Hello, this is Ananda from anandastarangel.com and this is my reading for the month of August 2018. So I hope you've had a fantastic few days after the full moon and the lunar eclipse last week and also the start of the Mercury retrograde um, on the day before on the 26th. So we finally had some rain on Friday um, in London and I think in many parts of England which has been quite, um, quite, it's been very welcome because everything in my garden is going a bit brown. I do hope that the sun and the heat will return. It's quite grey and it's been, it's been intermittently wet since then. So for this particular reading I've used two decks. The first deck is Denise Lin's Nature Spirit Oracle Cards and the card which came up is Ancient Forest. So with this card when I was looking at it, the first thing which struck me was besides the fact that it is a good idea especially now since um, there's been a Japanese professor who has published a book on forest bathing it's so important for us to get out in nature, to reconnect with nature, reconnect with the natural cycles of life. Um, we do live on this planet, so and we have for many millennia, so it's kind of common sense to return as much as possible, especially if you're in the city and it's just lots and lots of hard landscapes, no matter how beautiful the man-made environment is as well. So with this card, once again, there's a real interplay of light and dark. And even in the darkest places on the planet, hundreds of meters down in the sea and the, in the hottest places, bacteria still grows and there's some interesting plants and interesting animals as well, interesting fish. Even, even in the absence of light. And in the forest there's loads of moss and there's crumbling vegetation and we know that all of this compost down goes back into the ground and it feeds everything which is alive. So even with darkness or what we perceive, you know, because there's an absence of light as death, is actually a, a new start, is the possibility of not just destruction, because we have a real fixation about destruction and, and, the, and the fear behind it, the fear of death, but really it's, it's what I'm talking about is dissolution, Disolu dissolution, not disillusionment, dissolution. Things are sort of dissolving and becoming all the... Um, all the molecules and the atoms, the original ones, and the original elements and minerals that it has been made from. Um, and then you have the light showing how lovely the trees are and what it's like when the wind blows through the branches and, and how they move and how the, with the interplay of light when it hits the leaves Forests and woods are so different in winter. It's just the skeleton that you see. But this picture is showing you, say it's a time of summer, there's certainly no snow, there's loads of green on the, at the base of the woods. It's just, so what's this saying to me is that you, we have to honor our need to be in nature and also honor the cycles of of the periods of dark that we need which bring a huge amount of creativity and the next card will also um, explain that and to, to remember that we really do need to celebrate all the cycles we've gone past um, the summer solstice and so we know that it's now gearing down to um, towards the dark yeah, towards the darkest day, which is on the 21st of December. Um, and so all of nature, even though it's still blooming like crazy and there are beautiful magnolias in the woods, 
and beautiful scents and my gerberas are flowering and some of my roses are still flowering, it's amazing. So there's still this huge energy of bringing forth all this abundance and all this beauty but it's starting to change, a cycle is starting to change, can you feel it? So we've done with the full moon in July, we've had to, and also the Merc Mercury retrograde, it is bringing us very deeply into ourselves once again to discover what, what's left, all the bits and pieces which we haven't uh, looked at for a long time and we need to resolve. And then we can start afresh. So this is what this is also talking about. And the next card is from Alana Fairchild's Rumi Oracle. It's one of my favorite decks. For me, personally, and you don't have to agree, of course, um, this deck is, is even though it's, it's incredibly mystical and beautiful, it has quite practical, um, it's got very practical edges to it as well. Yeah, so it tells you if you need to detox, and if you need to go on vision quests, and I'm sure that the Rumi Oracle does as well, but it does so in a different way. So this one is called Arise, and the card is the number 13. And again, we have the interplay of dark and light. Now, this may seem to some as pain. You know, oh, we're huddled and we're, we're squeezing ourselves and making ourselves small because of the pain and suffering. But for me, this speaks more of the unborn child and being in the fetal position, being in the dark of mum's belly, and all of this growth is happening in secret. So I think that August is going to be absolutely brilliant, but it's going to be a lot of this happening. You know, it's going to be a lot of this, all the base work happening, going into that, if you haven't already started. And um, yes, in some instances, facing up to stuff, you may have shadow coming up. And in order to help yourself, just, you, you, I had a really crazy dream today. And, uh, it was quite unpleasant. Uh, it was being in an abusive relationship. And there was this guy who was threatening me all the time. Uh, of course, one of the questions is, why do you stay? Um, but then I realized, oh gosh, this is, this is actually me. <gasps> This is actually me. This abusive man is my shadow. And um, so I had to have a look at it. And I understood where it was from. Of course, it always comes from childhood. And what you think, you know, the stories that we make up about it and the actualities as well. Um, so it was from that. And I just needed to see it and see where it came from and love and accept it. And then we move on. Yeah, so the important thing is not to get too hung up on that to, and not to get frightened when you when you see and perceive those sorts of things. Of course, some of them could be warnings that you, you really ought to have a look at your relationships and maybe the relationship we're in is, is not, it's not really fantastic. But with this particular one for me personally, I realized suddenly, oh, this is, this is part of me and I need to look at that. So with this... It's the fetus and it's growing in secret. It's lots of things to grow and whatever is in the dark, it helps us to, it really helps us to evolve and transform. So we must not be afraid of facing the shadow. It's just the way we, we learn and we experience things. But then we arise after that and look at how beautiful the painting of the, the light being is. But this is us. This is our soul. This is our divine light. So we are dark in this body. We have shadow and we are light. And it's okay. So I think this month we're going to be creating, going into the gestation for lots of new things, but then we're also going to be asked to come to expose ourselves, connect with our light, and let all of it just radiate 
and shine forth at the time which is right for you. So even though August is part of this part of the year going towards the dark, it's still incredibly light. It's incredibly beautiful. August is an absolute beautiful month, just like every other month with, it, with its own purpose. So there will be time when you will have to show and rise and expose yourself and expose your light. So I hope this helps. Make sure you get out in nature. Honor your dark and your light sides. Honor the cycles of nature where you have to delve into the dark, delve into yourself deeply, and, and then you will appreciate and you shine your light even more. And it's also through doing this work that you can, it can help you to reconnect with your divine light. So I hope this really works for you. And leave me a comment if you like. And I hope that um, we meet again in, a, in another reading or in any of my events. So thanks and bye for now and enjoy August. I think it's going to be amazing.